Alright, what's up guys? This is Hutch bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops game. We went to the multiplayer event tonight. I already told you guys that, but uh, they let us capture all of our footage there. And that's why you guys see all these, these gameplay going on. So this gameplay is from a mode called Wager Mode. Uh, and there were four game types within that Wager Mode. Basically in Call of Duty Black Ops, XP is replaced with currency now. So now whenever you... Uh, accomplish challenges or uh, kill somebody you gain currency instead of XP and then you use that uh, currency to purchase all your upgrades which I think is actually a really neat addition to Call of Duty and I'm curious to see what you guys think so you should leave a comment and let me know um, if you think that that's a step in the right direction so the gun game is is basically this game actually originated in uh, Counter-Strike, if I'm not mistaken, but it's basically a, a game type where every time you kill someone, you make it to the next stage. And so as you can see, it's automatically switching me out to uh, to another weapon. There's no nades or, or equipment or secondary nades, anything like that. It's just you and your gun and uh, your melee, and that's it. Uh, so now you get to see the uh, different kind of shotguns. This is the Spaz. Uh, I like the Spaz. It felt like it had a little bit more range than the next shotgun, which you're about to see in a minute. Um, this map, by the way, I haven't even talked about the maps. The maps that I played, uh, I was generally happy with. They weren't too big. It wasn't, it wasn't looking too campy to me. Um, but then again, I mean, we were all playing multiplayer back Black Ops, and so we were all pretty excited, and there, there wasn't a whole lot of camping. Although, I did run into some noob tubing, which I found to be particularly obnoxious. But, I mean, you're going to find that, and there's just nothing that you can do about it. So here you can see the, sh the, the pump action shotgun, um, which does either has a lot of spread or doesn't have a whole lot of range, or both. Uh, either way, not going to be using that gun very often. Uh, the shotguns in general I just wasn't really like all that impressed with. Um, apart from this one shotgun that I saw that was uh, that had two shells in the, in the barrel, uh, and it had about the same range as the double barrel shotgun from Call of Duty World of War. Which makes sense because Treyarch made this game and it made World of War 2. Um, so if anything, I might be using that gun with like sleight of hand or something like that. Uh, if you look in the lower left hand corner, you can see that uh, now you can see what place you're in in a huge number. Um, which I thought was a really cool addition too. Like overall, I mean when Treyarch did their presentation for us, um, they basically said that they, they devoted their entire team to this game for the last two years. Uh, making it as polished as it possibly could be and from what I played tonight it just I mean like to me it felt I don't know like all, all the frustration that I'm feeling towards Modern Warfare 2 like uh, that looks a lot like the Garand I mean I don't know if it's some variation of the Garand but either way um, and it's like I said before in one of the earlier commentaries it's too early to tell at the moment whether or not this game is like uh, gonna suffer for some serious balance issues but you know it was an absolute blast and an honor to be able to, like, I mean, I looked at Steen Anders during the presentation, and I even said to him, like, you know, imagine where you were a year ago, like, the mindset and everything, and did you ever think that you'd be doing this? Uh, it's pretty nuts to be able to get a, to play a game like this, you know, a full, like, two months before it comes out is pretty awesome. Uh, again, I have to break these gameplays into parts, so stay tuned for part two, three. Alright, so a lot of you guys wanted to see some sniper gameplay, and uh, in a minute here you'll see me pull out a, a sniper rifle. Um, and I edited out a bunch of parts where I was literally just looking for dudes, and then failing miserably with the sniper. Like, when I was playing here, I wanted to play on a lower sensitivity so I could, like, um, I don't know, I generally play on a higher sensitivity when I'm feeling comfortable with the game, and if I don't know the maps, things like that, then I'll drop it down just to kind of give me that little, uh, um, I don't know, that little security blanket. And so when I, when I was running around trying to snipe on Sensitivity 3, it was just not wor really working out. But uh, there it is. There's the bolt-action sniper in the game. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of you guys were asking about the sniping in this game, whether or not it was a one-hit kill. And from what I saw, like, the zoom-in time without Sleight of Hand Pro is almost exactly the same as COD 4 in World of War. Uh, there's a little quick scope for you. And uh, as far as I know, I mean, you'll get a one-hit kill if it's in the the stomach, the back, uh, the neck, or the head. You know, I'm I'm basically just assuming that you know, 
that the damage is going to be identical to like the the other powerful snipers from like COD 4 with stopping power. And there you see like the last tier that you get to is the ballistic knife. Uh, I went 14 for 13 there. I went negative, but you know what are you going to do? Um, this is the the post screen. I figure you guys might might want to see a little bit of that. Uh, but I'm going to upload some of the um, some of the creative class stuff here in just a minute. Yeah,